right, so you can see we've actually got the um, radiator mount up here on the truck. So kind of the next goal is to put it together enough that we can drive it out of the garage. So the one big thing we ran into is the mounts for this. They're part of the body mount system, but they're the radiator mounts. They're just so corroded, rusted, the rubber had crumbled that there's really nothing left of them. And you can't really buy replacements. So we did a little, you know, Googling and came up with the old tried and true hockey puck body mount. So we're going to give it a try. I know there's a lot of controversy about whether it works or not. We're not making some big stack of hockey pucks to use as a lift. We're really just putting them under the radiator so we can drive the truck out of the garage. So I think this should work just fine. Uh, we got a few problems though. We need to obviously drill holes down the center of the hockey pucks for the bolts. And then also the bottom half of the body mount sandwich that we're going to make out of these pucks. These pucks are just a little bit too big to fit in here. So we're going to have to try and find a way to cut them down a bit. So I'm going to give the hole saw a try. Maybe we'll have to go find a lathe to borrow or something, but we'll make it work. This is complex geometry. I don't know if you've ever taken a class in complex geometry, but they don't even teach you how to do that in your class. <laughs> Well, look at that perfect center. Is this going to work? Probably not. Enough burning rubber smells to begin with. Yeah. It's really blue. It is very it's blue. Incredibly blue. Just might just work. Oh, that smell is so good. And if it doesn't, you could put it on the drill press and probably do the same thing better. Or I can take it back to the sporting goods store. Almost there. You could probably just score the out. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Weird, it's actually not as blue. It's magic. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we did. I feel like that might be the one right there. It's like the crayon factory over here. Wowee. Wait, how do we poke through here but not? Now Zach's drilling a another hole in a full-size hockey puck to the other side. Woo! That smoke. I think this is the most mesmerizing thing we've done yet. Look at that. The, the top puck got the bottom one with a big washer. It's a really big washer. Go up like that. We might need to get a bigger washer still. It's a sweet mount right there. If I do say so myself. It even matches the engine. So I just pulled off the driver's side door. Uh, it's just three bolts up here, three bolts down there for the hinges. Um, when the fender's off, it's super easy. It was just right there. So I figured why not give it a go and it came right off. So, I guess, yeah, we're looking decent. This thing is still stuck, this mount. Um, my arm is too tired from sanding stuff to really wield the hammer and I couldn't get that one out. So that's just gonna sit there for now. That's like, we got so much stuff going on right now. We got hockey pucks over there. We've got, you know, projects being planned. Got our potato in the front seat. It's just, it's a wild in here. Um, so the aftermath of rebuilding the engine, switching out carbs, getting ready for paint, pulling everything apart. The garage is just eternally trashed. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at my shoes. Look at those, those were brand new a week ago, but we just like you know run out of space and then the other problem is it's like 
10 degrees outside, so. With wind chill, it's like negative one. Yeah, so there's like, no one wants to go outside and do anything, so we got this scrap metal pile growing in the garage. We can't get the truck out yet, at least in the midst of all this mess. Just mess everywhere. We have managed to find a home for one thing. <laughs> it's just because you can't reach it to take it off. <laughs> it's stuck there because you can't get it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the core support back on. It's bolted up just like we were talking about with our hockey puck mounts. Seems like it works pretty well. So now we'll try and put some fenders on, I guess. And once we get, really the only reason we're doing this is so we can have somewhere to locate the battery. Right now we've got it sitting on the tire, but once the fenders are on, we can put the battery back in the battery tray and then drive this thing out of the garage. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> it's about time. So we just got the other fender on. So this is one of the ones that came in the bed of the truck and it's rustier than what we've got. So we're gonna scrap this one. So it's just gonna go on for now so we can drive the thing. But we also just pulled out some other goodness from the garage that yeah. we found. <laughs> so I was working on cleaning up the workbench and I found these fantastic plate covers. My grandma had given them to me <laughs> years ago. And at first I laughed at them and then I realized that I actually really love them. And I have put them on many vehicles. Yeah, they just <laughs> didn't fit on the new Mini, so they kind of got shelved for a while, but but we will make this fit. These are going to be great on this truck. This is perfect. It's going to fit even if we have to make our own bumper to fit it. Uh, yeah, these are 100% going on the truck. I am so excited about these. Like, you have no idea. It's also, it's starting to look <laughs> kind of like a truck right now. I know, if you look at it from this specific angle, it Ex looks... Except for the door. Except for the door. But that could be like a thing. We're trying to get in with the Jeep guys. Yeah, we're like basically Jeep guys. Alright, so I'm going to pull off the mirrors first on the truck. This nice job right here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Nothing but the finest craftsmanship. There we go. Drop right on the toes. All right, we're just about ready to get the truck out the garage, but because it's gonna go get parked outside and it's pretty cold out currently, we're gonna put some uh, antifreeze in. So I drained out the radiator and we'll fill it up now with some green or whatever AutoZone got us. So we got the new filter in. I'm just filling it up now with more break-in oil. So we're gonna do another round of this for a couple hundred miles and then the engine should be pretty solid. At least that's what the internet says. But um, also tighten down all the rocker arms again. Just check them all. And according to the bicep torque meter, they were pretty decent. Nothing moved, so I'm happy with that. I also just threw on the new uh, steering arms, control arms, tie rod ends, whatever you want to call them. Um, I guess I guess so. We've got new ones, and I didn't even learn the name, but they're in. Just need to tighten down the uh, locking clamps on the adjusters, and then at some point we'll have to get an alignment. I kind of matched the length to the old ones but I don't think those were too great because the tires kind of point inward pretty badly.
so it's kind of exciting. This is the first time it's moved under its own power since we pulled the engine out. And we've just done so much work since then, rebuilding everything, cleaning, painting. So it's kind of exciting that it ran really nicely and it drove. It definitely slipped on the snow a little bit. We had to get it in four-wheel drive just to get it in here. But it was great. It sounds good. We had good oil pressure, didn't overheat. Not that we couldn't run it that long, but everything seemed great. So very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> we have so much garage! <laughs> I haven't seen this part of the garage floor in like two months. No joke. I felt like our garage was so small and now it feels gigantic and I'm very stoked. <laughs>